Have you ever wondered how does a Chinese hell looks like? Right here. Here I am at one of the most famous temple in Malaysia, in Genting Highlands, the Chin Sui Temple. It's also considered one of the best tourist attraction area. Right behind me, there is a huge Buddha statue which stands around 30 meters tall. Let's go and see how does a Chinese hell looks like. Come on. So here is the enlightenment gate where we enter the Chinese hell. What does the Taoism people believe to be true? They believe that there is 18 levels of hell in the Chinese Taoism belief. Right here, we are at level one. It says registration office. This is where our spirit is going to be judged on based on what are the wrongdoings and whatever they have done and committed during their lives. Then it's going to be brought to the second level, which is all the way through this area. And here arrive the first hell chamber where sin committers, wrongdoers is going to be judged once again. And if they don't agree, or they don't admit whatever wrongdoings. Look what we have there. This is where we have like a mirror to reflect upon whatever has been done throughout the entire life. It's like a videotape recorder. Awesome, right? There is a magic videotape recorder that plays back your life. Then, following to the third, sorry, second, this is a second chamber where the punishment begins. Here is where the punishment begins. As you can see, these are hot oils where wrongdoers and sinners are going to be thrown down here to actually get punished and fried, deep fried. It's going to be really crunchy though. As we go deeper, we can see the punishment gets heavier right here image pretty disturbing this is where when the sinner has done a lot of harm using their words right telling lies or whatsoever it is this is what's going to happen tongue is going to be cut off right there we can see the eyes have been hooked out because of i don't know it could be too much of well seeing things that's not supposed to be seen and here on the next chamber, more heavier punishment. Let's continue. Right here. Ew! This is where, I don't know, something is going to be extract out from the body. And it's tied to a chimney and get burned. Just like that. Pretty pain, isn't it? Here, we have a deeper level. And it's going to be cut or smashed. This is like make, making sambal paste or something. And followed by frying. This one right here, it's a head saw. Opening up the head. Do they even have brains? Well, the more wrongdoings you committed, the more heavier the punishment is going to get. Of course, we can't show you all 18 levels, which is, they didn't build all 18 levels here. Is just part of it, but that's what the Taoist believes that there is 18 levels of hell, depending on how deep the sin and the wrongdoing is. And the deeper it gets, the more heavier the punishment gets. After all those punishments, where everyone comes to a checkpoint, where this place right here is where all souls is going to be offered. A soup and we call it mang po tong right as you can see here someone is holding a bowl of soup what this soup does is actually face all sorts of memories past life memories punishment memories and then recount it once again into some other life forms at least that is what the taoism believes is even i think buddhism believes karma and also reincarnation let's have a look and what happens next. From the Mang Po Tong area all the way down here is where souls queue up and gets into the reincarnation cycle. There's many pictures and diagram right here. 
whoever has the less sin and wrongdoing committed, they'll be reincarnated into scholars who maybe into ministers, anyone with high post, even emperor, right? Then we comes to the ordinary citizens, authorities or normal human being, right? And what is interesting is right here where we see they are reincarnated into animals as well as fishes and insects. I guess these are all the more heavier sin committed that they have to go through life form which is pretty devastating I believe because these are life form that they hunt each other, they don't have logical thinking. That is what happens when all sinners and wrongdoers go through the series of punishment and then this is how the judgment happens in the Chinese Taoism beliefs. Well, how far all this is true? No one knows. No one knows until the day of judgment, until the day we die. But once we die, no one can tell, right? But whatever and however it is, the entire objective here in regards of any religion, I believe the objective is still the same, which is to cultivate and to educate, right education for people to do good so that we don't commit sin, we don't do wrongdoing, we don't hurt people. All these beliefs, teachings, whatsoever it is, in regards of whether how far it's true, it's not important to me. What is more important is that the value that this story brings to us, which is cultivating good deeds during the days we are on this planet, right? Make this world a much beautiful place filled with love, filled with compassion, so that there is less negativity. Do you agree? If you do, comment in the comment section. What do you think of this entire Chinese hell journey? See you in the next video.